Now, the last few months have put huge pressures on all of our mental well-being. And for those who usually need it, the face-to-face -face support that they may have received previously, it just hasn't been possible, has it? Well, organisations such as Man Health have been looking at alternative ways to help their members during lockdown and as we move on from it, of course, because I think that presents another challenge. Paul Bannister is the founder of the organisation and joins us now. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, Lisa. How are you? I am very well. Thank you very much. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. So lovely to speak with you. Yeah, absolute pleasure to have you on. And we've spoken a few times over the years, but for those who perhaps don't know, tell us about Man Health and, and why you set it up. Um, I set up Man Health three or four years ago now because I, when I was really struggling with my mental health, I, I felt like the, there was no one available I could speak to. And I, I just had this, this idea that speaking with someone who'd, who had a lived experience would, would probably be really, really beneficial for, for me, and, and it's so so it is proven. Uh, so what might help do is we, we provide peer support groups run by men with lived experience to to help men who are struggling with their mental ill health. And I think that's the thing, that's the key, peer support. It is people who are like you because quite often one of the reasons that, that men need a little more help is because they don't know or they don't want to talk to people, but perhaps it makes a difference, the fact that the people with man health are your peers. They are people just like you. Yeah, it's a, you're exactly right, Lisa. It's, it's, very, it's, it's so powerful to be able to talk to someone who, who's, who's shared your experiences and who's there to support you, can be there to support you. It's really, really powerful. So what are the main concerns that you're hearing from the people you work with at the moment then, Paul? Well, we've, we've worked throughout the lockdown period with, with all the men in our service. We've been contacting them almost on a daily basis. And we've run all our meetings online using Zoom. But obviously people are, people are worried about the future. They're worried about the jobs. They're worried about finances. They, they, they worry, they, people are rightly worried about what, how, what the future holds for them. Yeah, definitely. I mean, so you were able to continue your support through Zoom. Did you find that more people were looking for help or did the numbers stay fairly steady or declined? What did you find happened? What I've been finding over the last few few weeks, Lisa, particularly is there's more and more people are reaching out to us and, and hence we've, we've launched this new service uh, that we hopefully can chat about. Yeah, tell us about it now. The, the government and the National Lottery Community Fund uh, launched, a, launched a fund for post-COVID-19 and we applied for some funding to set up a, a, a web chat and connect service wherein many, we, our, our website has a live chat avatar on there seven nights a week, six till ten all staffed by the, the, the guys with lived experience with Man Health and they've all been trained by the Samaritans and it means people can contact us in a much easier way because sometimes coming to a physical meeting can be challenging yeah. so the web chat makes it much easier for them and from that web chat, we can, we can then arrange to have a telephone call and get them into the Man Health meetings, the virtual meetings or physical meetings when we start again. We've had a really positive start with it. That's going to make such a difference to an awful lot of people because, like you say, seven nights a week, ten, uh, six till ten, and I would, you know, that's going to be the time where, you know, you've had your day, if you are working or there are people around, you know, it keeps you busy, it keeps you occupied, but... The evening time, I guess, when you're settling down, you're sitting down, is possibly the time for a lot of people when those thoughts, those negative thoughts, those darker thoughts start to creep in and you need a little bit of help. Yeah, I think so. With it being an easy, accessible service, I think it's, it's much easier for people. Uh, and I really, really think it'll benefit a lot more men throughout the region. And the more impact that we can have and the more support we can provide, it, it's, 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 that's what it's all about. So how do we, is that on your website, did you say you can access that? You can access it via the Man Health, Man Health website, so it's www.manhealth.co.uk forward slash chat. And all you do is just click on the avatar and then you can, you can chat away to one of our trained facilitators. Are you, I mean, I guess there's no way of knowing when you might be able to restart the face-to-face -face sessions, Paul. Have you, have you given that any thought? Yes, we, we, we're constantly in contact with the, the, the centres where we run and some of them are ready for a start in mid-August. So we're looking until September start. So we're very positive about that. And we've been telling all the guys, keeping them informed. And the guys are desperate to get back to the physical meetings because it's that energy and that camaraderie that the physical meetings provide that I think everyone's missed. Um, so they all are really looking forward to getting back to the physical groups. That's great news. And for anyone listening, they're thinking, oh, well, maybe, maybe I'm not allowed. It's open to all men, isn't it? 
any any man uh, we, over eighteen years of age. Uh, yeah, it's, we, we, there's no referral required. Anybody can drop in. Everyone's welcome. It's a great experience for the guys who come along. They really love it. And, uh, they get lots of support. And they, make, and they make lifelong friends, which is really, really valuable. And I think that is worth pointing out, actually, and that is a valuable part of this. It's not just about that support from a mental health point of view. It's also the idea of having other people. It's, it's, like a, a, it's very social, isn't it? You can go and you can make well, lifelong friends. Well, we call it a community of support, Lisa. We, we organise social events and we have walks. The guys the guys go out with each other. I always say to people, if I could bottle the camaraderie and the support <laughs> within the meetings, it would, uh, it would be brilliant if, if I could because it's, it's, it's just so powerful that the guys get so much out of it. And they come every week and some of them go two or three times a week to other meetings. Yeah. And they, they, they have made lifelong friends and to see that is very, very humbling for me. And um, having talked to some of the... Powerful. Yeah, I haven't talked to some of the people who, who attend Man Health. It's, it's a big part of their life. It really is. And they're so enthusiastic and passionate about it as well. Well, listen, Paul, brilliant to talk to you and a fantastic service that you are providing seven nights a week now, this chat facility on your website between six and ten o'clock. Give us that website address one more time, if you wouldn't mind. It's just all the W's, manhealth.co.uk forward slash chat. Brilliant, Paul. Listen, take care and we'll catch up again soon. Lisa, it's always a pleasure, and thank you very much for, for giving us this opportunity to talk about our new service. Thank you, Lisa. My pleasure. Paul Bannister there, the founder of Man Health. Check that website out. If you are listening now and, and that's kind of you thinking, oh, that's piquing my interest, this is something that might be able to help me, Man Health is the name of the organisation.